Isuzu refreshed their interiors with the brand repositioning from KB to D-Max in 2018, so there are no changes to the interior on this AT35 version, which is brought to market as their top spec LX. Now baby. let's go. Come on. Prove non-experienced for our poor guys most of it. It's an impressive place, eh? Lovely. More impressive car, actually. Yeah, no, listen, unbelievable. I mean, it, it actually, it's, the challenge is limited with that gearbox. I mean, it's, it doesn't feel like you've got to do much. I mean, even you got to, you managed. I mean, that, that, <laughs> with the weight, I that, thought the weight <laughs> was going to be the problem, to be honest, that, getting that, up there. <laughs> that, that says a lot. Chuck. Got it. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> Your heart's beating there. Listen, hey. Morris, if I don't make it, just delete it, please. <laughs> there we go. Go. Yeah. Go. Not too fast here. Next year, yeah, now. I'm not gonna make it. Go, go, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. <laughs> but look, I mean, I suppose you guys want auto because it's convenient for living in the city and getting around, but it doesn't hold you back when, you, when you're playing in the dunes. Sure, for sure. <laughs> Goes one one. <laughs> now I think also the, the new tires they put on there, the size yeah. of the tire, I think they're 35 inch. Yeah. It makes a big difference. You know the traction that you have, they're running them at, I think we're running them at 600. Yeah. So running them at that t uh, that uh, bar and, and yeah, I think it was good. I just put it Murder. Okay, you yeah. know. Ik heb hier een beetje met hem, ik kan niet staan. Wat denk ik? Hoi. Ik ben terug gegaan, ik zou niet dat ik zelf gepakt heb. Jij was daarom ver genoeg voor. Darren is al niet blij over. Hij struggled de eerste paar keer op. Hij zegt dat het de vehicle is, het is meer de driver. Luke, ik denk dat hij het gedaan heeft. Hij heeft het laatste gegeven. Hij heeft alle tips gegeven. Dus ja, ik denk dat het makkelijk is om te praten aan het einde. Seriously, I mean, nice to spend time in something else in an environment like this. Impressive. I think under this type of terrain, the farming type of use, I think it's a good vehicle. Uh, it's it's an enjoyable ride off-road, and it really does the work. No oh, dad. I think the suspension and the ground clearance and stuff like it you spoke about now, we never touch the bottom once. And normally when you're going over the top of the mountains or the top of the hills, you do scratch. Yeah. So I think those extra spaces they put in there have made a big difference. And then it was the turn of the local motoring media to put the AT35 through its paces. I think the concept of bringing Arctic trucks to South Africa is very, very cool. Seeing it in action today, it's been absolutely awesome, especially with the tough challenges we face with today. Yeah, it's, that's the toughest, it's the toughest part of the whole thing. We've heard words like butch and bulky for the styling. I think it is big in the way Kubis Visa is big. It's just big. It's not overtly so. It doesn't try too hard. Come on, tires. There we go. <sighs> I think it looks good. People want the wider arches. They want to stand out. They want to sit a bit higher. With the big wheels, obviously, it makes a difference uh, off-road, especially in sand, um, because it does help with the traction. From a styling point of view, it's got attitude. And I think that's what you want in a bucket. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> 
I think it's a good addition to the Bucky space, man. Uh, guys have been wanting big, bold Bucky's. And well done to Suzu for, for doing their big Halo Bucky. Looking forward to seeing a lot of them on the road. Amazing. Uh, we, I mean, there's some serious obstacles that we're playing with here. And I mean, it's like, it's like a joke. It's like a walk in the park. But he has a proper little climb. Let's see if we can get this thing up here. I hope I don't mess this up now that I'm talking on camera. Look at that. <laughs> Unbelievable. Climb, baby. Climb, baby. Climb, baby. Climb, baby. Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't me. That was Isuzu's D-Max 8035. Impressive. Like, seriously. That was a big climb we went up there. I didn't even have to go in too fast. Got in the power. That torque gets delivered. But this is all about that raised ride out. It's all about these BF Goodrich tires. Um, the Fox suspension. This is all standard. Wow, the D-Max has just got a lot more capable. Very impressive. So this isn't about stuff that's made to look like it's tough. This is for surely tough and capable, for real. Impressive. <laughs> I love it. We think there are going to be three types of customers. First one is going to be those kind of customers that want to go on an expedition into real difficult places. Second one we think is going to be the professionals that work in arduous places that need to go where other vehicles won't go. And then thirdly, I think we're going to have customers who want a, a lovely vehicle, one that expresses who they are, and it's about you know what vehicle they're driving. I think South Africa is a really big bucky country. The buyers love buckies. And guys that want to do overland adventure, uh, expeditions. Guys who are in remote areas but their normal conventional sort of 4x4 wasn't. Somebody who's a real weekend warrior and who likes to go to places like Rista Vinta and the, and the sand dunes and Namibia and things like that because it's a really really capable vehicle. So I think anything from farmers or yes those guys that live in the city and want to look different and good. So we think those guys who want their packages to just stand out. And I think it's going to be very good value for money. You've got the same five-year guarantee or warranty. You've got your uh, D-Max engine that's been proven over and over. So for guys who don't do the tattoos but who do go for the reliability, there she is, all in red. Yeah, there's definitely a market for it in South Africa. Um, I think South Africans will love it. So we're really excited to see the launch of this vehicle. Firstly, yeah, with the media, but we started selling these vehicles to dealers last week. And the great thing is that the first vehicles that hit the floors have already been sold and gone. But it's great being out here and the dealers are really enthusiastic and the media as well. So I think we've got a great product here and it's going to do well for us.